episode of Victoria 2 Fringe Campaign. And for the last episode, as you guys know, we're at war again for like the 15th time. And this time it's against the great powers of today. All of them. And basically last episode we had almost all of our friends disadvantage us and leave us to burn. To die by all three great powers, so... Yeah, so it's, we have really nice friends. It's, that's all I gotta say. So for this episode, it's mostly just gonna be me trying to defend my land against the Austrians. Um, I can't possibly defend Poland, but I can defend my own land. In fact, oh, Spain actually joined me. Well, that's really good. At least Spain has a courtesy of saying, hey, you know what? I don't care about those other guys. You know what? We're friends. We could do it. And over here, it seems like we have some major rebels problems, but we dealt with it anyways. We also have some really bad people in power right now, which I did not want you guys in power. Okay, because I don't really like communists in my country, and right now, oh shoot, pause. We're going to have to tax our poor again to the utmost and start getting our military back up to beefy standards. Okay, and while we also do that, we need to mobilize. Okay, and basically for the rest of this episode, um, I'm, I'm, the thing is, people, is that I think they can only come from one area if they're going to attack me. If they're going to attack Poland, the base, Poland's basically going to be squished. Because there's nothing I can do about Poland. Poland, I just do not have the militaristic power to fight, or to fight for Poland. So, you know, they're just, they're just going to be squished. But for the rest of the places, I think we'll be mostly fine. And we just lost a battle, that's not good. Where did I lose this battle? I lost a land battle somewhere. Probably in my colonies, if I'm guessing correctly. Um, because I don't see where else I could lose a battle. I definitely didn't lose any battle on my front turf. But, um, I'm not moving in. So if you guys are thinking I'm gonna like, you know, go out all attacking and all that, no. Are you guys, no. If, I'm gonna try to legitly fight this, so we're gonna see how good my militaristic skills are by the end of today. But, um, I'm not gonna let any of the Austrians, Pushkins, or whatever they are, try to dictate who they are. I'm not gonna let them win. That's basically what I'm saying. But for some reason, for some strange reason, I'm dying a lot. Which I don't quite understand because, hmm, it might be because of the artillery and because of the fact they have so much more men. That shouldn't be entirely it. And how does my military stack up? Or how does this crisis stack up? I am completely outnumbered and should go die. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's start just destroying these little tiny nations. But right, you know what? Stay right there. I'm gonna go send this army right over here, um, infantry over here, go beef up these guys' borders, because we need lazy names and you learn how to adapt. You guys over here, you guys go right there. Oh uh, yeah, this is mostly gonna be me just fighting a defensive war so I don't die. And over here, yeah, it seems like we have a good front set up. Seems like though my soldiers for some reason are like taking heavy casualties. Even though we should have about the same amount of militaristic power. But, you know. Yeah. That's a little bit unfair I think. Anyway, send in these guys, send in these guys. Yeah, what we like I said, what we're just doing is just trying to hold the front. And I think Italy, as much as I hate Italy right now, I don't think they're going to uh, betray me. For my alliance, they'll accept. Well, thank you guys for now accepting alliance when you guys should have done earlier. And, let me see, is there any really crucial places? Well, that's kind of crucial, but it's not really. Over here we have our troops. Um, over here we have our troops over here. And, of course, they're taking over Bunai. Oh, that's where we lost it. That's, okay, now I know where we lost all of our soldiers. Okay, go over there. And, yeah. This, this is going to be a little bit of, of, of impossible mission. A military alliance with Italy. I might get him in if this does not become just a completely useless exercise. Um, we're still losing a lot more soldiers than they are. I think it's because maybe the, I think it's because of the cannons. Now that I'm thinking about it, like that's the reason why they. Dang it! Um, hey Luxembourg, my greatest of friends. Since we are technically allies, will you guys please give me military access? Oh, you guys will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Long live France in that little region right there, but long live death to you. Okay? And you guys go beef up the borders over here so that we have a good line going. <sighs> okay. I'm not, yeah, I'm definitely not laying them into my land. And since this is the only possibility into my land, it's a good thing. And we seem to still be losing a lot more than they are. But I think, we're, I think we're actually slowly but surely killing more than they are. Which is good. It's good to see that. And our troops completely annihilated those. So I'm going to go send them into this battle. Okay. We're beating up our boys just a little bit. Um, What else do we need to do? Um, Look at the standings. So far, it seems like Spain's being kind of useless right now as an ally. They are taking over Gibraltar, which could help us in the long, long run. Um... UK, of course, moving up down there. Have no real... Could go take out these guys. But these guys would be kind of pointless. I'm just going to make sure I defend this land with utmost certainty. Panama Canal, pretty much defended. Um, over here, not really anything going on. We just kind of all chill, except right over here where UK just, like, stomped me out. Ouch. Over here, we have no UK in troops. In fact... You know, let's, let's be a little bit ambitious here and just, like, take over both Singapore and Mac and Malacca. So that we at least say that we took over some of the Asian provinces, even though if it was just for scaredness. And let's hope Siam is not stupid enough to give their, to give the overlords of, I don't think, yeah, I, I don't think actually Great Britain can actually get over to me. And they completely conquered Bunai, it isn't good, but we're still... We're still, like, cranking it out right now. Um, right now we have a couple more battles getting heated up. Um, I sh I'm gonna go send my men in. Oh, man. Okay. You guys go right here into that big battle. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point, this is, it's all about just staying close. Okay. Okay, that, that should at least hold them over. Hmm. You know what? Uh, should I join that battle? Should I join, the, join this battle? Let's join this battle. Okay, and there we go. Beefed it up a little bit. And did I win? Yes, I won. Okay, you guys quickly go over here then. To prove, uh, yes. Okay, we completely outnumbered them there. Um, remain calm and take pride. Whatever that is, remain calm and take pride. And right now, we're doing pretty good. Um, apparently... Really, UK? Really? Okay, everyone, go swarm the UK. Go swarm the UK, because they really do think I'm going to let them get away with taking over my own colony. Yeah, no. Nope, I'm not going to let you guys get away with that. Okay, you guys stay right there in Tulix. That way we have Northern Argentina taken care of. And, uh, seems like I'm dealing with... What? What did you... You guys are on my side! You're not supposed to let... Huh? Italy? Did you guys join my side? No. You guys are just fighting independently to go freeload Bondia. Well, that actually could help me just a little bit, but the problem is, is that now I know I have to defend my uh, Italian borders. Because I thought that was free. Um, you guys, yeah, you guys still go send in as much as you can. Um, you guys quickly go break out the Austrians from our sphere. <sighs> Switzerland, perfect. Why did you guys... Switzerland! You guys are my friends! Why did you guys... Ah... Uh, that that makes me kind of angry right there. And you guys right here, you guys are angsty because, yeah, I knew it. Okay, you guys go right here. I don't think Italy... As much as I love the Italians, I don't think the Italians have what it takes to, like, defend themselves. Okay, you guys, go to crush these stupid troops. Go crush that stupid army. Okay, no! Never mind! Just go die by that stupid... Sorry, people. If I'm getting a little bit angry right now, it's because I think this is a little bit too unfair. I'm getting, like, bone crushed by, like, weak armies. Okay, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. Um, you 88 troops, you guys go right there. Go crush that stupid Russian army that got across my line. Um, okay. Next. You guys, right there. You guys move right there. Okay, we have a pretty good front still set up. I'm um, gonna have to send some of these guys. Who's the biggest troops? 38,000, okay, you guys go right there. And you guys that are a little bit weakened, you guys go right there. Okay. Okay. 
Cough, cough, yeah. Okay, how are we doing over here in this battle? No, we're just dying like crazy. It's They don't have gas attacks. I don't understand why we're losing. Like, so much. Like, it really does not make sense to me. Like, this should not be happening. We're losing to the to the British line by, like, a lot. That should not be happening. The French aren't that bad at militaristics. Contrary to popular belief, they are not that bad at militaristics. And I think this is just... Uh, why am I... Oh, never mind. Alright, well, anyways, we got our front set up again. We basically, I think if we just play it safe, we probably have a ju just barely enough men to, like, produce or outproduce everything. And, you know what? Everything I'm staying in, everything is staying in. Every single one of my factories is staying in. Okay, all you guys move up here. All you guys gonna go help over there. All you guys go down here, go kick their butts. Or you guys go down here and go kick their butts. Also go conquer Bordeaux so they don't have another colony. And it seems like the... Seems like for some reason the uh... Okay, the British lost again. <sighs> kind of more of a psychic victory though as I see it. Because they're just slowly moving into my land. But over here they're legitly losing. I'm slowly starting to crush them. Um, yeah, and I have my... I have the entire front, like, picture. Okay, you guys. Ones that are moving. Just stop moving. Um, I'm gonna go send you guys to this front. Yeah. Yeah. The UK has decided to extend the current war by demanding... No. No. Okay, so UK has officially decided to add a war goal against me. I'm just gonna say no to it, of course. I mean, they honestly think that they'll be able to do anything. And these guys are unsupplied and they're still beating us, which I don't understand. Okay, let's just go kick their butts. Yeah, it seems I'm winning a lot of resources from this battle. Which way they're going? They're going this way. There we go. Okay, and I have all my troops that I could possibly have on my front lines. And we're just, like, defending as much as we can. And apparently this little nation... Okay, I can beat this little nation in a war. Go right there. Um, the British... Dang. Dang. Okay. So let's see. They want Northern Bruno. Because of their awesome war score. But the problem with that is... They aren't exactly winning this. So... Yeah. And I'm not exactly stupid. I'm not going to move into their territory. Um, France, I kind of wish you guys would have stayed out of it now that I think about it, because you guys kind of stink. <laughs> yeah, they, like, now that I'm thinking about it, they kind of stink, and now I'm just, I'm going to have, they're going to gain France and all them war score, which is what we didn't need. Okay, you guys, go and please go kill the rest of France. Like, seriously, just go annihilate the rest of the troops. Uh, no. No, just... It's, it's beyond the grasp of these people to realize that they could potentially win this. And there are more French soldiers moving into France. Which basically means I'm fighting... Oh, wait, wait. The Heart of Darkness. And it was only when I saw how they treated them that I there was this one child. I remember him well. Eight, nine, maybe. They all have quotes from how much to pick every, each day. And then that one day, he didn't fulfill his. Don't ask me why I had his hands. France is in shock as a major European newspaper published a report today on the conditions in one of our, her colonies. Brutal mistreatment of natives, cruel punishment, and repeated instances of bloody mutations have all been established means of maintaining the colonial order in, in the colonies. In mines and on the plantations, which have all been kept outside the influence of the colonial office through an elaborate system of bribes and corruption. France apologized for nothing. Wow. Or we will... F we we accept full responsibility for the wrongs we committed. You know what? We accept full responsibility for the wrongs we have committed. It was not right for us to go in and do that to the natives. I mean, for any reason at all, it was not right. You guys... You know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to go kill off Gibraltar. That way we have that done with. And how are we doing our borders? It seems like our borders are still pretty... Uh, 
pretty strong. Um, and these guys are slowly, they should be slowly dying now. I mean, they do not, the manpower rating compared to mine is just not inconsequential. Yep. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? This is going to be like the ultimate move. I don't think they'll be able to take this. Let's split my men up. Send half of them over here. Okay. Now split my men up again. Send the better half to go over here. Split my men up again. Send my better half to go over here. And we're basically going to collaborate to kill them. Yep. There we go. They're crushed. And my men are just slowly retaking all the land of France. And how's the war score going? Probably against us. Yeah. I was thinking it was probably against us. Lazy natives need to learn how to adapt. Poland got out of it pretty quickly. But I won a major victory apparently against the uh, the uh, little nation over there. I feel pretty happy now. And now terrorist cells are in my nation. This is just... Oh my goodness. There's just so much unbelief of this era. And over here we have France. Just, I mean not France. Uh, them just kicking my butt. Over here, though, I think we're doing pretty good. Yeah. Use government pressure. Use government pressure. Um, long live France. Okay, go over here. Advance for us up. Really? Really? Okay, I really got it. After this, people, I'm really going to take a look at our military and realize why the heck am I losing so badly at all these battles. Because that's based... And I'm also dropping a lot of frames per second. Sorry about that. Steel turbines, what do I want? Inflation, carbon bullets, gas capacity. <laughs> okay, that's exactly what we need. Because you know what? These guys have been... Okay, over here, we basically have them. Over there, seems like some French troops, or not French troops, some um, Spanish troops decided to engage the enemy for the hope of the free land. And we conquered over here, so now we'll go over here. Go take back Malays. And now we have this little area too. So that means they will not be able to, uh... Yeah. It seems like... With our battles winning... With our battles, we are slowly starting to win... This all out, uh... Whoa, you guys are winning by a lot. How are you guys winning by that much? I don't know, but... Right now, we're still like... We're still, like, just holding our lines. We're not... Yeah, France is definitely playing it cool here. We're not trying to move in at any kind of forceful speed. And, you know, potentially end our name or our game. We're just kind of, like, doing this very snail pace. We're, like, if we see an opportunity and we like it, we'll go for it. If there is no opportunity... Okay. All you guys, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Come on. No. Stop. 1900s, everyone! By the way, we made it to the 1900s. Okay, all you combine, um, all you guys hide in the mountains right there. Because I bet if we, they were to try to attack me in the mountains, they would not have the same amount of success. Okay. And they're going straight for me. Let me see if my, if my attitude towards this was correct. Um, let's see. Yes! Oh, yeah. Yes, I was so correct in that. So we are defending in the mountains. We're using the natural landscape of the world to help us out. Um, over here, we just still have kind of a weak line. Yeah, I'm not really trying to move in. <laughs> but we still have a weak line, and I'm not going to be, like, pushing. Because right now, I don't think it's a time. And I think Italy won. Wow. We should try again. Um, Italy won, everyone. Sending our soldiers over here. To go help with this. Okay. But anyways, people. From last episode, you guys know. Um, Italy. Wait, what? Okay. Um, two things happened, everyone. One, I gained this region right here. From Italy. Which I don't understand. Because. I guess it must have been an event. But anyways. Um, Italy actually gained Lombardy by themselves. And just proven that they can actually handle themselves. So. Give them applause. And with that, I'm going to have to end the episode. See you guys next time.